attendez. Oui, mais fais vite, hein, mon Dieu. Hein. Bonjour, mon Dieu. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, mon Dieu. Bonjour, monsieur. Mon Benoît, fuis. L'ouvrier est dedans. T'entends Oui, dedans. T'entends Pour la troisième fois, je vous dis dedans. Uh, Pouvez-vous réparer des tonions? Pouvez-vous réparer des tonions? Qu'est-ce que ça? Non, je ne sais rien. Say, what do you understand? English. Why didn't you say so? Why didn't you say so? Couldn't you see I was an American? No. Then what do I look like? Will you tell me that? I can't remember. Say, <laughs> McCracken's the name. McCracken. Julius J. McCracken. What's the J for? Uh, Julius. Tuttle. Elmer E. Tuttle. What's the E for? Elmer. Say, where are you from? Yonkers. <laughs> Boy, could I make a crack? Could I make a crack? <laughs> hey, hey, do you know anything about firearms? Sure. I was shot three times in the Argonne. Well, well, look, I got an invention. It's my own invention, see? It's a spot shot pistol. You squeeze the handle and it throws the spot out so you can see where you're shooting at night. Gee, that's miraculous, miraculous. I'm going to demonstrate it if I can to General Boucher and maybe the French army will adopt it. Marvelous. Say, it'll be the makings of you. It'll be the greatest invention since Einstein discovered them relatives. <laughs> you think so? Sure. Say, I got an invention. What is it? Putting zippers on bananas. <laughs> <laughs> is that good or is that good? <laughs> did, did you have any reason for coming here? Gee, I almost forgot what I came here for. Mademoiselle wants her pipes fixed. Has she got a leak? Yeah, in her bathroom. Oh, bathrooms, always bathrooms. See the darn things in my sleep. If I ever get a chance to... Follow me here. If you'd put that man out of your mind, you'd be better off. Oh, don't talk like a silly goose. If I could forget Tony, I'd have done it long ago. Well, I suppose there's only one thing to do. Start packing up and running away again. Oh, he'd follow me? Besides, why should I run away when I love him? But he's a married man. Oh, he's not so very much married. He hasn't lived with Nina Stratos for years. But she won't give him a divorce. And he's so lonely. Why shouldn't he love? There, you see, Albine? Instead of fighting against him, I'm actually defending him. Oh, it's no use. Well, there's only one way to get rid of that Frenchman. Start running around with another man. But I don't want another man. I don't want any man. It's Tony. Let him in. No, no, don't let him in. Tell him I'm not here. The specialist is here. Oh, it's you. Patricia, it's no 
nobody. She means you. Wait here a minute. That's her. That's Albine. What a mama. Ah, and does she palpitate for me? You mean she likes you? Likes me? Her and I are like that. Which one's you? Listen, pal, I know how to handle a female of my species. Dominate them. And listen, I got a voice in things around here. I got a voice in things. Honey... Don't you honey me. You lost your voice. Uh, what do you mean by coming here at this hour and with this? Sweets, this is Mr. Tuttle. Tuttle, you're right. You see, babe... Oh, I'll... shut up. Great kidder. I suppose you forgot your tools. No, I brought them. Well, I want the shower fixed up in Miss Patricia's bathroom. Well, where do I turn the water off? In the kitchen. Go and turn it off, Mac. And, and wait a minute. And, and turn it back on again when I give you a signal from up above like this. Oh! Say, I sent for a plumber, not a house wrecker. Come on, Mr. Tittle. Tuttle. Well, hurry up! Come on in here. I want to show you what has to be fixed. It's this shower up here. It's been a nuisance ever since we've had it in the place. Say, not so much noise, Mr. Tuttle. Tuttle. All right, Mr. Tuttle. Now, the fling, I, I never use them myself. <coughs> So you're that kind of a guy, are you? Well, now you can put your mind on your business. This is the thing that has to be fixed up here. So come on, get busy with that shower Albie, up there. Albie. Yes, I'll be right there. Oh, what's the matter now? Albie, wait, it, it's Tony, I'm sure. I'll hide in here. Tell him I've gone away for the weekend. Oh, well, I tell him you've gone. Oh, boss alone anywhere, but tell him, hurry up. All right, it's Barcelona. you run away from me? I... I ran away because I never wanted to see you again. But why? You were very happy with me at Monte Carlo. Yes, I was happy. Until you told me you were married. Do you blame me for telling the truth? No. But I blame you for not telling it sooner. Oh, must we go all over that again, Patricia? What has marriage to do with love anyway? You love me and I... No, not any longer. You think all you have to do is whistle and I'll come to you. I want you, Patricia. And I'm going to have you. No, no, no. Not here, Tony. I love you. Why fight against something you can't resist? Oh, Patricia, darling. No, no, Tony, Patricia. Tony, let me go. You couldn't be true to anyone, Tony. Oh, Patricia. No, no, no. I won't believe. be a fool again. Now go away, Tony. Please go. <coughs> so that's why you run away from me. You have a lover. Oh, no, Tony, that's not true. Then who is the man in that bathroom of yours? Uh, I don't know. So I'll soon find out. Come out of there! Come out of there or I'll shoot!
Who are you? Answer me. Say something. How have you been? Who is this man? Tony, I swear I never saw him before. Well, I'll have satisfaction for this insult. My seconds will arrange the details. What details? Oh, no, Tony, not a duel. I'll kill this libertine, this love thief, this unspeakable foreigner. Don't you call me a foreigner. All right, pal, keep your attitude. Let's make it some other time. You can't leave now, it ain't anarchist. Good morning, gents. Fine weather for this kind of stuff. Fine weather. Uh, Monsieur Roger, Dr. Renard, and I am Monsieur Robert de la Gaspar. Glad to meet you, boys. Glad to meet you. This is Mr. Elmer Turtle. Turtle. This is the gentleman who is to be shot. What is uh, your choice of weapons? Monsieur Lagos prefer uh, swords. My specimen prefers uh, pistols. Anything. Swords, pistols, I don't care. I'll kill him anyway. What's the difference? Swords, pi... Satisfy both sides. Let him have a sword, and I'll use a pistol. Oh, no, 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 I can't sell him the idea. Go back. No, 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 You better try out the old spot shot and see if it's working right. You stupid idiots! You've ruined my hat! Mon Dieu, Mon Dieu, Gaston, Mon Dieu, oh, imagine if... Imagine if... So far, so good. You got him in a frenzy. Nice work, boy. Nice work. <laughs> now, gentlemen, if you take off your things, we will proceed with the duel. Have I got undressed? Sure. It's an old Latin custom that's been handed down from pillar to post. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's proceed with the duel. Ah, pipe down, pipe down. Who's getting a shot here? Scram. Proceed. Now I'll tell you what I want proceed. you to do. You see, now you've got them rattled. you got them going. Don't worry about nothing. Hey, listen. Just think. All this happens on my day off. <laughs> what a break. <laughs> what a break. 
Sure Remember, that, I hate this mug, and I gotta have revenge. Go ahead, pal. Be hostile with him. Alors, vous avez compris les instructions? Allez-y. Voilà vos pistolets, et après ça, avec ça, vous comparez. Monsieur Gilbert, vous en prie, vous voulez le voir du côté à l'autre. C'est pas ça, vous dites stupide, vous comparez de merde. Écoutez, mes amis, alors, dos à dos, en arrière, en arrière, dos à dos, dix pas de distance, comprenez Partez Mais qu'est-ce qu'il fait Oh, il a Oh, 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 Bon, si vous êtes vous appuyez. Comprenez Là-bas Compris Alors, tout attends. If you don't do this thing right this time, I'll kill you twice. Partez I'm all right, my dear Patricia. Ah, you thought you had lost me, and you grieved for me. You love me, now I know. Don't be so sure of yourself. Oh, you murderer! You... Oh, you poor fellow. Oh, to think I'm responsible for this. So young. You have such a kind face. You're so young to die. Tell me, are you hurt badly? No, ma'am. Oh. Oh, it's like 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 At last you have come. You know, for two days I have waited for you. Well, you see, Nina, my darling, I, I have been away on, uh, on business. Hmm? Love business? Oh, no, Nina, darling. Oh, no. Maybe you have meeting with your wife, Patricia Jardin, oh, huh? Oh, no, how silly. Oh, if I do not believe this, I will kill her, kill you. Estoy loca por ti, Tony. Quiero decir de tantas cosas cerca de mí, chiquito. Estoy loca, loca, loca por ti. Oh, Tony, if you could only speak Spanish, then you would know what I feel for you. Tony, when will you marry me? Well, uh, how can I tell? You see, Patricia will not divorce me. Oh, you must find a way. She must give you up. Yes, darling, you see, I... That's all right, oh, Tony. I, you know, I, and when we meet in Lisbon, and we fall so much in love with each other. Yes. Did you not say to me, Nina, I love you madly. I'm crazy about you. Yes, dear. I'm going to divorce my wife and marry you as soon as possible. Yes. This thing you forget, no? No, 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 darling, of course not. But you see, you see, Patricia will not divorce me. Oh, you can't, no? So, for two days I am in Paris oh. and you do not come here. No, you no, have no. been with that woman, you have. No, no, no. I've been it, I've been it. Oh, Nina, I... wait, now. Nina, this is quite enough. I 
shall go. Sonny, can't you see how much I love you? Look, there comes the boss. You better wait, Joseph. Yes, madam. Gee, I'll bet all the men are crazy about her. Listen, the asylum is full of guys she merely smiled at. She's the kind of a girl I've always dreamed of. Gee, if I had money. Well, sell the old spot shot patent to General Boucher and wearin' the money. She likes the guy that does things. Do you think I could ever be worth... Oh, she likes that Tony Le... Le Goose? Say, he's no bargain. That guy has done more chiseling than Rodan. Well, who's Rodan? The chiseler. Ah, monsieur. Bonsoir, General Boucher. Bonsoir. There he is. There he is. My old buddy, General Boucher. Voilà, monsieur. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Would you be interested in an invention? No, it's a, it's a gun. A gun. Je ne vous comprends pas. I invented it myself. It throws out a spotlight and it, it throws out a spot. It, I'll show it again. Oh! Oh, mais non, non, non! Listen, if you live to be a thousand years old, never pull a gun around here. I merely wanted to show it to General Boucher. I have to show it to him, don't I? You were begging for the bass tile. Nothing gets on the nose of the casino cops like a guy with a gun. Why? You see, every now and then some guy goes broke gambling, then goes out in the garden and commits suicide. That hurts business and it costs the casino a lot of dough. To bury him? No. The first thing the casino cops do when they find a guy that's bumped himself off is to shove a bankroll in his pocket. Oh, to clear their conscience? No. They want people to think that the guy didn't kill himself because he went broke gambling. Do you get it? Oh. That's why those guards ran out. Yeah, yeah. You think they've gone back? Yeah, it's okay now. I'm going in and see General Boucher. Go ahead, pal. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Vous n'avez pas qu'à entrer ici. Eh bien, eh bien, eh bien. Oh, pardon. I'm calling on General Crochet. Oh, Monsieur Canodentre, he has on a business suit. I'm here on business. Oh, I'm very sorry, but Monsieur Canodentre will be that evening close. No, 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 no. We can have... It's very... Listen, I, I'll be right back. I'll just... Vous voulez un défi? Oh, monsieur! Uh, merci. Oh, pas de quoi, monsieur? Pas de quoi? without a full-dress suit. There you are. Class distinction. Why, you think we were a couple of French pheasants tilling the soil. Don't I always stand at attention when they play the mayonnaise? How much does it cost to rent a full-dress suit? Too much. I got an idea. What is it? Run, Mac, run. You telling me? Place this in his pocket, will you? There. 
It's a shame to waste such good money. Ah, oh, it is better than another scandal in the newspaper. Hurry! Right. A mastermind! A mastermind! You're a genius. There ain't no other word for it. <laughs> Me very happy. I, I'm overcome with joy. <laughs> Tony, I heard that one moment before the theater, and they told me you were here. Querido, I want to talk to you. Let's go into the lounge. Oh no, darling, no, no. You see, I. <laughs> you see, it's it's too warm in there. I, I think it's much cooler over here. Do you mind? Hmm, no. Bueno. <laughs> Please let me say, just please, just one minute. Now listen, please, darling. Tony. Listen, darling. I shall come to the theater immediately after the performance. I swear it. Oh, you swear it, dear. Tony, you are deceiving me. I think in your eyes. Send that wake up, Carol. I don't know where the Now listen. Oh. Patricia, dear. For an ardent lover, you're really late. Where have you been? If I told you, that would mean another argument. Involving another woman. No, <laughs> Patricia. I swear it. There never could be anyone but you in my heart. Oh, leave your guitar of a heart. I'm dancing no longer. Oh, Patricia. In the name of our exquisite hours. Oh, let's not talk about that. Our exquisite hours have brought nothing but exquisite pain. No, 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 Tony, no, I mean it. No, no, now please leave me. Oh, Patricia, you're forever blowing hot and cold, but you'll change again. You always do. I have changed, permanently. Yesterday, you accused me of having a lover. Oh, I'm very sorry. I was silly to say such a thing. No, you weren't. There is another man. You? Another man? Does that touch your credulity? Don't you conceive the possibility of another man taking an interest in me? Oh, Patricia, cut this joke shorter, please. Oh, I'm not joking. Voyons, 
that insect after all. Oh, why didn't I kill you? Must have been an oversight. Uh, Patricia, it is for your sake that I restrain myself at this moment. I shall see you at your apartment tonight. Oh, you'll be quite used to I assure you. Come along, darling. darling, aren't you? Yes, I can read it in your face, that calmness, that tranquility, that serene expression that tells of a love that is real and secure. Oh, it's so good to be near you, to be forever imprisoned in your arms. I... No, love's sweetest meanings are unspoken. Just think, in a few days we'll belong to each other forever. That's all right. What's your favorite game? Guinea hen, broiled. Shall we play back or off? You think it's proper? Oh, yes, it's all right. Oh. Thank you, monsieur. Oh, je vous demande mille fois pardon, monsieur. Stupide de ma part, pensez mille fois pardon, monsieur. Oh, mon Dieu, ma excusé, ce n'est pas à vous. Et vous alors Tuttle. Oh, mais non, la belle vie. Vous êtes un lâche. Vous avez quitté le duel sans rien faire, mon vieux. Vous comprenez Ah, mon oh. Dieu Écoutez, ça, c'est fort, ma carte, voilà. Je vous donne un duel là-bas, vous comprenez très bien. Ne pas le temps. Vous êtes témoin de ce qu'il a fait, ce bonhomme. Vous l'avez abouti, vous comprenez très bien ce qu'il a fait. Mais ça vaut encore, oh, mon vieux, vous ne comprenez rien, mon Dieu. Vous êtes fou. Would you, uh, would you like to play with me Huh? A banco. <laughs> Bank is yours, mademoiselle. Back her off. Back her what? You're unlucky tonight. Oh, no, I'm not. You owe me 2,000 francs. For what? You have lost, monsieur. You must pay mademoiselle 2,000 francs. But I haven't got 2,000 francs. Oh, Mademoiselle Patricia. General Boucher. Hey, come on, Tony. General Boucher, I've been looking all over. Hey, Mademoiselle! Hey! 
here like that. So it's you again. Well, who have we been trying to assassinate now? Mademoiselle, this is the man, the thief who stole the car from under this very nose. I might have known it. Where's my car? There is no car. It's smashed, wrecked. Is what he says true? Oh, I didn't know it was yours. Gee, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to steal it. Liar, thief. You may go, Joseph. Well, you look ill. Are you hurt? Well, I won't know until I take my clothes off. Probably only a few minor fractions. You wrecked my beautiful car. That cost 150,000 francs. What are you going to do about that? I'll do anything you want me to. Very well. Sit down. Now, you write me a check for 150,000 francs. Whose name will I sign? Well, your own, of course. It won't do any good. I haven't a sou in the world. Now, you listen to me. You wrecked my car and you're going to pay for it. Do you understand that? Oh, I understand that, but I don't understand how. Maybe I give you back a little at a time, say two francs a week. That would take exactly 1,443 years, and I don't care to wait that long. Well, some weeks I can give you three francs. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't get personal. Do you want to make something out of it? When it comes to hot looks, you're no bowl of cherries. And look at them ears. <laughs> if you had a propeller, you'd be a monoplane. And he kids my smeller. And say, it's faces like yours that makes parents quit trying. What were you two fellas quarreling about? Oh, he makes a crack about my schnozzle. I don't mind a good, clean, dirty dig. I can take it. I can take it. But no mug is going to call me an anteater. Did he call you that? Sure he did. And did I ferment? Ah, oh, what's the difference? You still have those pretty eyes. Don't look at me like that, will you, baby? I can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> have you ever been in jail? Once. What for? To see my father. Oh. Say, if your pipes ever freeze or you need your shower fixed, I'll do it for nothing. Isn't there something I can do for you? Yes, there is. You look like a man that could be depended upon. If you made a promise, you'd go through with it, wouldn't you? Well, now, this is what I want you to do for me. I want you to stand between me and Tony Lagos. I want you to act as my lover. Oh, I couldn't charge for that. Oh, you don't understand. Not, a, not an actual lover, just a, a pretense, a make-believe. I know it sounds foolish, but that's the only way you can help me. I love this man. I'll always love him. But he's married. You see what a terrible position that puts me in? I always want to be near him, and always I have to keep running away. Oh, I can't go on like this. Besides, there's Aunt Charlotte. If she knew that I was in love with a married man, she'd make my life miserable. Wait a minute, please, wait a minute. What do you mean? I only asked you if you were going upstairs. Certainly I'm going upstairs. Well, if you told him just that, would you think he'd go away? No, no, he wouldn't. I know the kind of a man he is. Oh, but I love him. I despise him. I despise myself for loving him. Oh, I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what to do or which way to turn. And unless you help me... Oh, I'll help you. But I don't know exactly what you want me to do. Well, I'll tell you exactly what I want you to do. I want you to stand between me and Tony Lagos. If I try to go to him, hold me back. Use force if necessary. Oh, I couldn't do that. Uh, I, I might hurt you. Oh, but you must. How dare you question me? I thought I'd save you a trip. Miss Patricia ain't at home. You tell me this lie? You would restrain me? It is with difficulty that I'm calm. With difficulty. Don't get steamed up, pal. Don't get steamed up. What do you think I am? 
Well, <laughs> whatever you are, you're the only one of its kind. <laughs> Wait a minute, you can't go upstairs. She ain't at home. You can't pull my nose. I won't stand for it, see? I'm burning up. I'm burning up, get me? You can't do that again. You can't. By golly, he did it. Now, now, whenever he's around, I want you to hold me in your arms, to hug me and, and kiss me. Kiss you? Yes. Well, I'll try. When do I start? Right now. It's Tony. Get in there. I'll be all right now, now that I know you're here. And don't come out until I need you. Uh, uh, how I know when you need me? Oh, you know all right. Now, hurry up. Patricia, why do you do this? Why do you try to avoid me? Tony, darling, it's very late. Uh, what's the difference? That man with you tonight, I could have killed him, but I didn't. But the next time I see him, I will correct that mistake. Tony, you're talking about my fiancé. Oh, Patricia, stop this foolishness. You can't look me in the eyes and say that you love that man. Oh, Tony, will you please leave me alone? Patricia, I, uh... I'm going away tomorrow. Tony, darling, you're not going to leave me. That's for you to decide. Will you go with me? No. Then you'll, you'll never see me again. Oh, Tony, I'll go with you. Oh, oh, I knew you would, Patricia. We must leave tonight. Tonight? Yes. But, I, but I can't do that, Tony. You, you'll have to wait. Oh, wait, wait. That's all I hear from you is wait. No, not now. Not now? Then it will never be. I am tired of this nonsense. I am going out of your life forever. Oh, Tony. Tony, I'll go with you, darling. Oh, Patricia. I knew you would say that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Patricia, you sent for me. I came as fast as I could. How's that? Well, it's all right, but not now. Oh, you're not happy. Now. You're happy. I can see it in your face. Patricia, what? What is this? That plant quality, that serene expression. This you, but tells me. Patricia, this nonsense. Doing? How am I doing? You've done enough. Elmer, will you please help me? Ah, ah, Love's sweetest meanings are unspoken. Unspoken. Un this is the end. My hat. Where's my hat? Where's my hat? You wear my hat, you unspeakable foreigner. I'm finished. I've had enough of this. Oh, Tony, Tony, wait, I'll go with you. I'm finished. I'm through. You're not. You beast, you brute. Do you know what you've done? I could choke you. What's the matter? Didn't I do it good? Oh! Why did you do those things? Well, you told me to come between you and him. Would well, you have to kiss me every time I turn around? Well, that's the way I'm paying you off. You told me to kiss you. Well, I didn't tell you to kiss me in public. Oh, you only want me to kiss you when we're alone? Yes. No! I don't want you to kiss me at all, stupid. What time do you want me to come to work in the morning? I don't care. Go away. I'm going to bed. Tony! Tony, Tony, wait. Wait for me. I'll go with you anywhere. Are we going someplace?
Alvine. Alvine, it's been terrible. Oh, my nerves are all shot to pieces. That man Tuttle kept me a prisoner in this room all night. Three times I tried to escape, and each time he stopped me. Well, if this keeps up, I'll have to get a passport to get into my own bathroom. Well, why don't you fire him, then? I told him to go twice. He won't. In the middle of the night, I heard him telephone for his trunk. He's moving in on me. Well, it's your own affair. You hired him. Yes, but I didn't marry him. Oh, now we've just got to get rid of him somehow. Supposing Aunt Charlotte came here and found him. What could I tell her? I don't know. A tuttle hanging around your bedroom all night would be hard to explain. Why don't you call the police? And have a scandal in all the newspapers? Oh, I don't know what to do. There's only one thing to do. What? Shoot him. Where are you going? To get a gun. Well, it'd suit me better if you get my breakfast. I'm nearly starved. I'll get your breakfast and I'll get that turtle if it's the last thing I do. Sleep well? No, I didn't. Now get out of here. I got you a nice breakfast. Well, take it away. I'm on negligee. Well, maybe if you eat this, you'll feel better. Oh. Cream? No. Sugar? No! Gee, you don't want anything, do you? No, I don't want anything from you. And stop talking to me. I'm sick of looking at you. Eggs? No! No matter what I try to do for you, it turns out wrong. Oh, oh, Elmer, I, I didn't mean to be cross. Now, let, let's forget it. Elmer, there's something I want you to do for me today. What? Take Fifi out for a walk. Your sister? Oh, no, Fifi's the dog. Look. There she is. She's sweet. Small for its size. You're not trying to get rid of me. Oh, Elmer, what an idea. Of course not. Well, I'll just be out in front of the house if you need me. What do I do with Fifi now? Now listen, now, will you, you take Fifi across the street and see that she has a nice dinner. 
Won't you join us? Uh, no, no, thank you. I'll be in the beauty parlor. You call me when you finish. Oh, we'll go in with you, then we can all have dinner together. No, 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 no. You can't go in there. Oh, madame, may I use your telephone? Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. I thought I told you to take Phoebe across the street and see that she had her dinner. Well, we're going to wait for you. Well, you're going to have a long wait. I'm going to have a shampoo and a manicure and a wave, a permanent wave. Well, that's all right. We've got nothing else to do. Oh, you make me tired. Hello? Hello, this was in the Carol Seas. Tony? Tony, Tony, I must see you. Well, come to my house right away. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, well, I, he, he means nothing to me. Tony and I got rid of him. All right, darling. Oh, Tony, darling, I'm so sorry about everything that happened. Now you must tell me where you've been and what you've been doing. I think I'm entitled to ask that question first. Oh, Tony, darling, don't be cross with me. We haven't had an opportunity for a real chat in weeks. And all you do is bark at me. You've got to understand, Patricia, that we're now on a different footing. I didn't come back. You sent for me. If I stay, it will be on my own terms. Very well, Tony. I have no pride left. You know, I, I can't marry you. I take it for granted that you are willing to make some other arrangements. Tony, all I know is that life isn't worth living if we're not together. You are mine now, Patricia. Nobody can come between us. Nobody can interfere. <laughs> So you send him away, yeah? But not very far. Tony, now, 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 Tony, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, uh, Elmer was here calling on me, and, and when, when you came... Calling I... in his pajamas. They're not his pajamas, they're my pajamas. So, I want to talk to you. Elma! Elma, have you gone crazy? What do you mean, coming here like this? Why, well, I thought perhaps you might want me again. Oh. Want you again? I've had enough of this. Every time I come here, I find you in the bathroom. Now listen, you little rat. Tell me the truth. What are you doing here? Oh, I live here. You make this your home? You sleep here? Oh, Elma! What makes you say things like that? Well, don't you want him to know? Oh! At last. I am beginning to understand. Oh, Tony, Tony, darling, you're all wrong. Elma, Elma, don't you see what this means to me? Now tell him the whole truth. Tell him, tell him about everything. You mean about last night? Yes, tell him about the contract. No. <gasps> tell me, tell me about the contract. Tell me. I can't. Oh, you can and you must. I can't. He's got his thumb in my windpipe. Oh, Tony, don't you see that you're choking him? Elma, Elma, please, please tell him what I made you promise me last night. All right. She made me promise to be near her always, to hold her in my arms and to kiss her. Elmer! To kiss her and... Oh, darling. So, 
So we know the truth. No, at last. no, Tony, I can explain everything, darling, and you, you really know. You, you made a fool of me for the last time with your lies, and you're running away. Tony, please, and all the time you've been in love with, with this insect, oh. this cockroach, this turtle. Turtle. <sighs> Tony, Tony, I'm going with you. Let go of me, you little fool. I'm through. I'm finished. You said that yesterday. Pig, baboon, and eater. You can't do that again. Oh, he'll never forgive me. I'll never see him again. You, you come here and spoil everything. Well, maybe someday, Patricia. You may look back and be kind of glad I was here. Oh, are you going to hang around here the rest of your life in my pajamas? Yes. Oh, you little beast. Go and dress. Albine, Albine, get me a taxi. Yes, Miss Patricia. Now she wants a taxi cab. Oh, she's always wanting something. But answer me first, babe. What am I to you? A pain in the neck. You think that mortifies me, huh? You think it crushes me, huh? No. It just spurs me on. It just spurs me on. Listen, you little beast. You know what I've done? I've locked you in. Do you hear? No, Mr. Elmer Tuffle. What are you going to do with your contract? Now listen to this. I never want to see your face again. Do you understand that? You thought you were very clever, didn't you? Well, interfere again if you can. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Tony, now, directly. In ten minutes I'll be with him. And you won't be able to stop me. Do you hear? I'm going to him. Ah! How did you get out of that bathroom? You'd be surprised what a little talcum powder will do. Well, I'm not interested. I've got a taxi waiting. Will you get away from that door, please? Do you mean to tell me you're going to keep me a prisoner in my own house? Oh, get away. For the last time, will you get away? I'll count three. All right. One, two, three. Now, that was perfect. Now, see if you can count it backwards. Oh, you miserable little wretch. I'm sorry to do this, but it's in my contract. Well, is this in your contract? Oh, Elma. Elma. Oh, Elma, did I hurt you? Sit down, Elma. Wait, I'll get some cologne. Oh, Elma. Oh, oh. Now, relax, Elma, and I'll rub this on it. There. Oh, Elma, I didn't mean to hurt you. You know that, don't you? I, I spoke without thinking. I, I didn't realize my terrible strength. There. Now, did it feel better? Are you sure? What's going on in this house? Here is Patricia. Why, Aunt Charlotte, I, uh... I answer me. Where is my niece? Well, uh, well, well, Aunt Charlotte. I've never seen you looking oh. better or better looking. Let me have your hat and things. There's a man in my niece's room. Now, now we we're friends again, aren't we, Alma? Now, may I go out? No. All right. Now, get out of here. I'm going to bed. I can't trust you. All right. I'm going to address right now. If you're a gentleman, you'll get out. You got that taxi waiting. All right. If you have no respect for me, I don't care. Hey. Here, I can take off my own dress. Let me alone. You can't do that. I can. Don't you? Will you please let me take off my own dress? No, my trouble. Let me go. Stop it. How dare you, Mommy? Elmer! Listen. Hey, you can't take her dress off. She, she's passing out. Quick, put her on the bed. <laughs> Did you ever hear the one about the garbage man's daughter who inherited a swell dump? I'll find you, idiot. I'm going to find out. And Charlotte! 
What have you done to her? I didn't do anything. Well, why is she this way? Well, we were just... Oh, doing... this is no time to explain. Miss Patricia, he's got to get out of here. Your Aunt Charlotte's here. Aunt Charlotte here? Yes, here in this house, and she's suspecting things. She saw his shadow on the bathroom shade. Oh, Elmer, Elmer, go on, hurry up and get out. Go on, hurry up, Elmer, go on, get out. It's too late, she's here. Oh, Oh, Elmer, go on, hurry up. No, you can't go that way, she'd see you. Go out here. No, Elmer, don't go that way. Go out, go on. No, Elmer, come back here. You mustn't go that way either. Madam, Miss Patricia is sleeping. Nonsense. Patricia hasn't been in the bed at 9 o'clock since she was a child. Stand aside. There's a man in this house. I saw his shadow, and I'm going to find him. Oh, but what would a man be doing in Miss Patricia's bedroom? Well, that's what I'm going to find out. Patricia! She's asleep. What is the matter with her, uh, Doctor? Well, it's something I'd rather not discuss with a lady. Just what I suspected. It happened to her mother, and at about the same age. It was a lucky thing I came when I did, Doctor, while you were here. That's right. Now, never mind, dear. This will all be over in a few minutes. What'll be over in a few minutes? The examination. Examination? Well, certainly, I want the doctor to go over you thoroughly. Well, I'd rather... You know, I, I had a presentiment that there was something wrong with this child. Now, let me see. No, 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 uh -uh, no. Do it for Aunt Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Yep, please. Mm-hmm. Just what I thought. Just feel here, doctor. I just felt there. You did not! Oh, my dear, you're a nervous wreck. Doctor, get out your stethoscope. My what? Your stethoscope. Oh, but I'm all right, Aunt Charlotte. Really, I am. Fine. There is nothing like making sure. You know, Doctor, sometimes I think I should have been a nurse. I'll get the stethoscope. No, 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 no. I'll get it. Oh, you doctors are so finicky about your old instrument. Now, here. Come on. Relax. I, don't want I can't do a thing with you unless you're left. Please, please, lie down. Come on. I want the doctor to go over you from top to bottom. Oh. Doctor. Her mother was like this. Now, come on, get started. Get out your stethoscope. Say, ah. Uh. Oh. No, ah. Uh. Wonderful technique. Mm. There's something wrong with my telescope. Well, you don't really have to have it. Just put your ear there and listen. There? Yes, there. Oh, oh Doc. Oh, tell me the worst. It's worse than I expected. Oh, what did you expect? The worst? Oh. I, I'd better get another doctor. Would you suggest a psychiatrist? No, ma'am. A doctor. Oh, oh but, uh, doctor, before you go, I, I, I want you to see my operation. Oh. Hey! What's the matter, pal? You don't look so good. Well, they can't fool me any longer. Patricia doesn't want me here. How did you get that idea? She slapped me. And Charlotte. Stay in bed. What's the matter? What's the matter? She's gone. Gone where? Tony's apartment. What's his phone number? I got it right here. Here it is. Uh, Alici, Troy, Troy, Ducks, Ducks. You don't say it the way you spell it. 
It's trois trois dia dia. Uh, uh, pardon. Uh, Billy Boo, will you please give me at uh, least trois trois ducks ducks? Didn't I just tell you there ain't no ducks? No ducks. No, no. Two, two trois trois, two dias, no ducks. Give me that phone. Alicia, trois trois dia dia. Say, I get the idea. While she's going over there, he's coming over here. Tony. Hello, this is Tuttle. Yeah, I just called you up to tell you that, that I've been lying. That Patricia means nothing to me at all. And if you'll come over here, I'll explain everything. You will? I'll be waiting. Boy, you're a genius, a philanthropist. Oh. So, I come here to see Patricia Jardine and I find you here. This is nicer than I thought. Yeah, much nicer. And what are you in this place? Who, me? Yes, you. I'm just a juggalo. What? I'm a fellow that goes around making women want other men. Caramba! You mean scaramba? Oh, be quick! I'm going to put my hands on this Patricia, and then I shall go back to my Tony. You won't have to. He's coming here. What? Tony coming here? To see this woman? Look, do uh, you want some good professional advice? Way to get your Tony back and start keeping company with somebody else. Hmm. Do you think this will make him want me more? It will make him jealous? It'll burn him up. Maria Santissima. All right, I accept. When do we start? Right now, because he's allowed to be here any minute. And all he's got to do is catch you in my arms. And if... there was... Oh, darling, you're happy. I can see it in your face, that calmness, that tranquility, that serene expression that tells me of a love that is real and secure. It's so good to be near you, to be forever imprisoned in your arms. <gasps> ah, ah, ah. Love's sweetest meanings are unspoken. Just... Elma! So this is the reason you're through with me, is it? And using my house for such a thing? Oh, Patricia! So you are Patricia Jardine, huh? I am, and who are you? Nina Estrada. <gasps> so, it is you who would try to charm my Tony, huh? What do you mean, try? You have tried to hold him, but you cannot. <laughs> now that I see you, I know why. What do you mean by that? Nothing, senora. Only when I first hear of you, I am jealous. I think you have beauty. I think you have power, but you have nothing at all. Listen, you, I'd like to know what you've got that's so irresistible. Hmm? I think you would. Elmer, Elmer, what has she got that I haven't got? You got me there. When I look at you, I don't wonder Tony tried to get rid of you. Oh, he'd be wrong to, to me if you, if you would divorce him. If, if I, I would divorce him. him. Yes, yes, if, if you, you would divorce, divorce him. him. Oh. He told me he was married to you. And he told me he was married to you. That it was just a sweet and foolish love affair. Ah. Oh, Maria Santissima. Mm. Would you like some tea? Oh! oh. I'm a drunk kid. I took on to the... Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take it easy, will you? Will you? Take... It's Tony. Tony? Oh. Oh, they come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stay in here. Come here. Stay in here like Tony. As I tell you now, go in there. Uh, you sent for me. Has, uh, has something happened? Yeah, I sent for you regarding Patricia. Well, well, what is it, man? Quick, quick. I've decided to leave so that you and she can be happy together. Ah, uh, spoken like a man. I'm afraid I have misjudged you, uh, Scuttle. Tuttle. Say, are you married to this Nina Estradas? Oh, of course not. And you don't love her? Who, Nina Estradas? She's just a crazy, rattle-brained Spaniard. The kind of a woman a man finds, fondles, and forgets. Gee, I wish I could handle women like you do. Oh, it's an art. If you will take the word of one who has had many, without becoming tied to any. <laughs> do, do you like fireworks? Do I like what? Fireworks. 
Fireworks, yes, yes, of course I like fireworks very much. Well, that's good, because we're going to start with the human Roman candle. Oh. Nina! In the flesh. Not responsible for hats or overcoats. Oh. You love me, Tony, don't you? <laughs> you see, Mona. You're Sonia. crazy for me, aren't you? Oh, well. Oh, yes. You know. <laughs> I'm the kind of a girl that you can take and leave and do whatever you like, eh? Well, you see. Uh, no, get off of your I think I can explain everything, Nina. See, ah! Uh... Oh, hello, Patricia. Yes, now, listen, Nina. Let me explain to you, darling. So long. Can't you see how much I love you? Can't you see that I love you? <laughs> 